And just think, I could grab a bag of potato chips. I could grab three or four Oreo cookies or some chocolate chip cookies. But because I have these prepped ahead of time, I will be more likely to grab all of this good stuff for me. Hi guys, welcome back to Not For Nothing Homestead. I'm Ginger, thank you for stopping in today. Hopefully you will enjoy today's video. And if you do, please make sure that you like this video, subscribe to our channel if you enjoy the content that we're bringing, and also uh, make a heartfelt comment at the bottom because you may have a chance to win something. So we're in a collaboration today it is called Hashtag Healthy Snacks 24. It is put on by Mountain Grandma, and I'll have her channel listed below, and all of the other wonderful creators, content creators, I'll have their links below, and the schedule for this whole month. So you're gonna get one and sometimes two videos a day of healthy snacks that you can have. Now we got the summer coming up, so you're gonna want healthy things because everybody's going to be snacky. You kind of want some light snacks, nothing really heavy like you do in the winter time. So you kind of have to refocus, you know, okay, what was it I did or what am I going to do this year different than last year? What have I fallen in love now with now to eat? So very excited. Now, the reason you want to make a heartfelt comment also is because Mount Grandma is going to have a giveaway. When is that giveaway? I had to write it down because you know I got to compute the times between Eastern Standard Time, Central uh, Standard Time, and then Mountain Time and all that other stuff. So it is going to be June 6th at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time is when the giveaway is. And so far, I know that there is a $50 gift card that is in the running for that giveaway. So you're gonna to wanna to make those comments on those videos uh, to get in for that drawing. So I'm gonna bring you down and show you a healthy snack um, that I love to put together in advance. Um, I do like mm, usually 10 or 12 of them. Uh, I don't do really any more than that. I have learned in the past that if you try to put too many of them together because you want to keep it in the refrigerator uh, the almonds tend to get a little well, I don't know they just get yucky after a while so I just make about maybe a week or a little more than a week's worth so we're gonna I'm gonna bring you down and show you everything that we have it's really not that much and it's it is such a nice little snack and it will cure any hunger pains that you have until you can you know, get through to dinner time. All right, so what I have is, I have some little snack bags. I get these really cheap, I think it's like $2 at Walmart to get these little tiny snack bags. And there are a 100 of them in here. So they're really tiny, like that tiny. <laughs> and I get some cheese. I get, let me get those out of the way. I get some white cheddar cheese. I get some golden raisins, I get some pepitas, some craisins, I really love these, and I got some raw almonds. So what I do with these is I put them in a frying pan, put a little bit of olive oil in there, and you know fry them up, watch them really closely, put them on, I would say, you know, like medium, I think it takes about 10 minutes for them to do, you know, get all nice and roasted and toasted. And then I sprinkle, while they're still warm, I sprinkle kosher salt on them. And then they come out looking like this. So, um, and usually I find that roasted salted almonds are more expensive and come in smaller packages than if you do the raw almonds yourself. And then you can actually make different kind of nut mixes with the raw almonds um you know whatever you decide you want to do what i'm going to do is i always get white cheddar either one of these i like both of these i'm going to start with this one today so we're going to open this up and dice these up a little bit now you've probably seen these in a similar mix to this in the grocery store um, and they're called Sargento Snacks, 
and they're balance, I think they're called balance breaks. And this is like my version of that. So we're gonna dice this cheese just up into small little chunks. So I take about one slice, one nice good slice, cut it in half, and then make a a bunch of little halves. Sorry, something just fell. <laughs> and then I just make a bunch of little squares like this. I'm good to eat one. So get yourself a little baggie, one slice, and that is that is a good amount for a snack. So I put those in there. Get a little bit of these Salted almonds, usually about a handful is all you need for the day. You don't want to eat too much uh, because they do have fat in them. They do have the right kind of fat in them. But again, overindulging is uh, on almonds is too much, so you don't want to do that. Okay, so I got those in there, the almonds in there. And then you just pick from whichever one of the sweets that you would like. Again, I love the golden raisins, so... We're going to take these out and put some of these in our mixture. And I just do, again, like a little handful and I put it on the other side of the almonds. So see, you have a nice little snack bag there. So I'm going to get a couple of these made up um, and then I'll bring it back and show you the different ones that I do. I get one of those meal prep trays and I just load them in there. I got nine bags out of that and I did three different kinds. You know, curtail this to your own taste buds as well. So I did pepitas, craisins, and white cheddar. I did uh, white cheddar, golden raisins, and the almonds that I made. And then the last flavor I did was... Craisins, almonds, and white cheddar. Didn't I? No, no, the other one has pepitas. But anyways, these are nice, good little grab and grow, grab and go, not grab and grow, <laughs> grab and go protein snack. It'll hold you over from breakfast to lunch or lunch to dinner. Um, it's really awesome and it's all good for you. So, and look at how many ingredients. I still have some almonds left. I only did like a quarter of the bag because I buy the big, huge bulk bag. These I can save for a couple more days. I put them in an airtight container. And then in a couple days when we eat through some of these, then I'll make some more. Uh, so you just need almonds, cheese. Um, you can use Swiss cheese is really good for you. White cheddar is really good for you. Um, and then I got the golden raisins. If you don't like that, you can just use the crayon raisins or vice versa. Got some pepitas. These are really good for you. And then some just little tiny cheapo depo snack baggies. And that is it to have this wonderful snack for when you have a hankering for something. That is it for our Healthy Snacks 2024. That didn't take any time at all. It took me like, you know, besides toasting the almonds in a pan it took me literally like 10 minutes to prep that and just think I could grab a bag of potato chips I could grab three or four Oreo cookies or some chocolate chip cookies but because I have these prepped ahead of time I will be more likely to grab all of this good stuff for me 
So guys, don't forget to go watch all of the other channels that are contributing to Healthy Snacks 24. Go check out Mountain Grandma. She will have a playlist over on her channel. And don't forget to leave a comment because you could win one of the prizes in the giveaway she has. So, all right. Thank you for stopping by here today. Take care of you and yours. God bless. And we'll see you in our next video. I think I need to have a snack bag right now.